everybody's got you know something that they could improve at that they could be better at but it's like one thing and you're out the door i haven't come here for this i'm not going to get violated and i have to set a standard if i let that slide for the whole week my shit's going missing then when people think you're weak and you physically can't like handle yourself yeah. that's when they take their piss the key is just taking that little step out of your comfort zone i miss my daughter a lot yeah. This is why I say people don't like you. That's cool. I know why I came here. I didn't come here to like you or like you or like the next girl. I'm too cute. You already started. You're not that cute. Did Joe Paul just yeah, touch absolutely. me? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. In definitely. your life. In your life. In light of the altercation that happened yesterday night, we have decided to send you ladies on a wellness retreat. Those girls do not like me. No matter what you say to them, they will never like me. All they can do is come to my face and be fake. Girl, I opened up to you. I literally sat down and opened up to you. I trusted you. You could have oh defended me in a different God. way. Defended me in a different way. I don't care. Like no, do you care about your no. child? I need to what get to, to that. Get to I that? need to get to that because you don't understand it. Just I, I just want to know where you found the time. I never had nothing else to do. What? Because I don't feel sentimental feelings towards people. That's no, not towards people for your own flesh and blood. Like I said, there was you and all these other side bitches that I didn't give a fuck about. Many people could say, rah, like you met, you met my mum, you met, you met my family, da, da, da. I didn't give a fuck about their family. Like I said, I'd go to people's house, look at their mum right in the eye and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these times I don't give a fuck about their daughter or nothing else. And I still don't, yeah? Go on. But during the second year we was together, like there was somebody that, like I said, citing, not you up there, not the two below that I just kept there as a consistent link. Below that, I had a few other consistent links. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, when I say consistent links, I mean in the sense that I didn't even really like these fucking people. I might just have them around because one has a banging body. One's got fucking... One might be a light skin thing with green eyes. Another one might have a Jamaican accent and she's kind of thick. These people don't just mean... just disgusting. But that's, these people don't mean shit to me. They probably thought it was way more than it was because I would, like I said, I'd meet these people's parents. I'd meet... I was, I was seeing someone I was like 40 years old and like I'm, I met her fucking daughter. Like I'd, be, like, I'd meet people's whole families and I didn't give a fuck about their family. And I can say that confidently Which and I could look in the camera, I didn't give a fuck Which about them. Her daughter? I'd meet people's kids, I'd meet people's mums, their grandparents, I didn't give a fuck about these people. I don't understand why you think that's okay to be going around and seeing all these people. Like you told me that it makes you feel, what would you say? Per I don't know, like it's your purpose or something like that. When I'm not achieving anything else, the fact that I could get gal was the only thing that was an achievement to me. Okay, but it, that still doesn't make sense. Why is it that I could meet people's parents and not give a fuck no, about that? All of it. The reason all I could... It's, it's not hard. Being able to meet so many people, for, for, for what reason? Don't you find that disgusting? Looking back at it, yeah. But at the same time, the reason... If you're asking me why I didn't give a fuck about these people and their, like, their families and anything like that, you know me well enough to know that I don't give a fuck about my biological mum. I don't give a fuck about my dad. I don't care about these people. My brothers, I don't give a fuck about these people. The only reason I ever even gave Christine, who's my biological mum, a kiss on the cheek is because I saw you communicating with her and you made me see her like somewhat of a human being. Because I never yeah, saw her. That's terrible. You just no, but you, know that. but you know that enough. It's not nothing new that you knew. You saw how I treated you. Yeah, but no, I didn't know that. That's the reason why. No, nah, I never gave a fuck about her. When you say to me, how I could do these, do these, like, feel this way about these people is because if I don't give a fuck about my biological parents, why would I give a fuck about other people's parents? Do you care I don't, about I don't your child? Care about that. I'm going to get to that. No, do you care about your no. child? I need to, get to, to get to I that. I need to get to that because you don't understand it. So I need to explain it to you, otherwise you ain't going to get it. So I'll Just get start it. start now, explain it. So during, I've never the, heard it. During, the second, during the second year when we've seen each other, like I said, there was somebody I was seeing mm -hmm. consistently that probably thought I was their man. I didn't give a fuck about them. She yeah? thought you was her man? All these people thought I was their fucking boyfriends. Everybody did. They give, they give, some of these people probably put pictures out of me and, and say that I was with them. I didn't give a fuck about them. 
they could think it was something special, but to me it weren't shit. I would take a picture. I would take a picture of something. How often were you seeing these people for them to think that you're in a relationship with them? It was consistent. Over so when, years. Was, I, when when was this happening? When I was staying at your house? When we were staying together? Is it the moment I left? No. When I stay, I will stay around three days a week, and I'll go home. Is, like is I that said, when these, these people were consistent. I, I just want to know where you found the time. I never had nothing else to do. So when you was working. The nightclub thing was what first day to Saturday. Okay. The. But I'd meet you after sometimes. No, but so you I want to know when you had you, the time. No, but you got to remember as well. These two jobs weren't even consistently at the same time, so I always had free time. Anytime you ever said I want to come and see you, I never said no, right? I always said yes. No, but the times you were working, and I'll be at your house. I had a lot of free time. Now, let me ask you something. Let me just say something Wait, to you. Would you see these people after work? Or w Not after, I'd, I had time. That's what I'm trying to say. I had time to see all these people. I know, but where did you find the time when I was at your house? When I was staying with you? When we went to Birmingham and I was staying in Birmingham with you? When did you see these people? Have you lied about working? No. Nah. <laughs> Even in Birmingham, there was somebody that I used to see in Birmingham. I know. No, and it's not even the person that you thought it was. It doesn't matter. I know you were seeing but, people. No, but the point I'm trying to make is I had That's time. That's why I left you. No, but the point is I had time. I had time to rotate 16 girl around, 16 girl around, and then have you as my main girlfriend. I had time. But like I said, I never saw these people as anybody I gave a fuck about. When I started working night shifts, and it's like all of a sudden, sometimes I'm calling his phone, he's not even answering his phone. And that, that was all during the time. I had time, I had free time, I had loads of free time. And I'll come see you on the weekend. I had, yeah, I had loads of free time. You're making me sick. But. You're disgusting. So during the second year that I was seeing you, there was something I was just linking. Like I said, they probably thought it was more deep than it was. Like, every, like the other f fucking. Shut up, Jim. Like the other 16 Carry fucking on. people that thought it was something. Carry on. There was this person I was linking, yeah? And when I got with this person, linking, one of the reasons I got on with them so well. Yeah, and I actually met this person at the same event. When I first got with this person and linked them, they said they couldn't have kids. And I was like, that's fucking great because I don't want to have kids anyway and definitely not with you because you're just deciding to me. Like, this ain't going to ever progress to be fuck all because I got my girlfriend, which is you, and I don't want nobody else like that. Yeah? Now, we stopped seeing each other. Why? We stopped doing the consistent linking thing. Why? Not consistent. Because Why? I didn't give a fuck about them. So okay. And I just thought, I'm bored of you, so you can... You can like, why would, I want to, why would I want to see someone like that? I didn't see them for like six months. And then randomly out the blue, they shouted me. I went to see them. We slept together now. You know me well enough to know that I can kind of, con I, not I can kind of. Oh, I'm I not going to talk about that, but go on. No, but you know, I have, yeah, to, I have to say, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Like, you already know that I can control coming. Yeah? Really? Carry on. Yeah. You already know that it, like, I'm not firing at nobody unless it's by choice. Yeah? But this one time, I did, not because I wasn't thinking. And I thought to myself, you can't even, get, you can't even have youths anyway, so this don't even matter. Like, and plus, I ain't seen you in six months and we ain't that, so fuck yourself. Like, I'm just going to do this, and then we ain't going to see each other, whatever. It's just like a quick fling or whatever, yeah? Now, a few months later, that person had sent me a message, and they said, um, they said that they was pregnant. And the first thing I said to myself was, brev, I don't know why you tell me that bullshit, bruv. You need to go to the thing and just get an abortion real quick because I don't want to have a fucking kid with you. I don't give a fuck about you, yeah? And in that moment, I just felt like I had to be super honest. And I said, look, bruv, I'll be real for you, you know, like you're one of like 16 people, yeah? You ain't even someone I see as my girlfriend. I don't even really like you like that. So realistically, we can't, this can't be nothing like that. So it's best that you do that. They said that they were going to go do it. And then I was meant to go with them on that day. And to be fair, I didn't really give a fuck, so I just went to link some next thing. I didn't go with them. And then I felt like such an idiot because the, when they even told me that they were pregnant, I said, how can you be pregnant when you told me the first time I met you, you can't have kids, how can you be pregnant? So already I was thinking, Rev, I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. Like, and you know me, I've never been one of them guys to tell anybody I want to have children. And you know me well enough to know that from someone that's been with me for four years. And so you're you not blocked only No, nah, I told her. No, you blocked her. I told her. You blocked her. Listen, you, how can you know what's going to happen if I'm not telling you? Yeah? Like I said, the first thing that went through my mind was you said you couldn't even have kids, so this shouldn't even be a conversation. You've got to get the abortion real quick, so I don't want to hear this. Yeah? So they said they would go do it. Then the next day they come back and say they didn't do it. And I was like, bruv, are you dumb? Like, 
Why would you, you know not? What? Listen, no, do you know what? Do you know what? First of all, first of all, I don't see why you feel like you have the right to tell anybody to get an abortion they fall pregnant by no. you. Because you're the one that's being, like, no. you're moving reckless. No, no, listen. I you lay down as well. No, no, her. listen, listen. You said you could control yourself, no, listen, but you didn't control yourself. Yeah, because I thought... Okay, so no, take, that's, that's you now. That no, is all you. No, because the person said they couldn't get pregnant. It doesn't so matter why... whether they said it or not. What do you mean it doesn't so matter what, if they said it if, or not? So anyone can say that and it's all right, just believe them. No, you shouldn't just believe them. So what, this, what, you just believe I them? I was seeing this person consistently for like two years, like on and off like a link. So why would they lie to me about that? If I was linking them for two years like this, fucking them every so often, why would I think they'd lie about not being able to get pregnant? That's dumb. And she said this from the beginning. I believe them. Yeah, they told me that they couldn't from the beginning, the first time I got with them. Then fast forward now, as soon as they told me, I said, what are you even saying? Because you said you couldn't get pregnant. So what the fuck are you talking about? Well, there's always a chance. Like in that moment, I just, I'll be real with you. Yeah, I told the person straight up like, I don't know what kind of bullshit that you're trying to pull, but you're not going to get me with no sympathy thing trying to make me feel like you're not going to make me feel anything for this. Like, I'm not going to be, I'm not one of them people that sells people dreams like I want to have a family of people. I don't want to have no family of people. You're the only person I ever wanted to have a family of. So I'm not the type of guy yeah, to tell people and sell people dreams that I want to have a child with them. And you know that well enough. As much as I chat shit, you know that enough to know that I would never tell somebody I'd want kids with them because I never wanted kids. Going into that now, I aired this person for four years. I blocked them because I said, bruv, what the fuck are you, you trying to pull? Them. Yeah. And I never spoke them to them, to them for four years. But then by that... The and you don't even regret that? No. Not one bit? No. That your child is out there? I met... Listen, the reason I don't... I'm going to get to that. You don't regret it? I don't regret nothing. I don't regret nothing. Just like when I met Christine at nine years old and I looked her in the face and I never felt nothing no, for her. No, but that's... Just like when I met my dad I'm at 23, about your flesh I don't and blood. You don't regret abandoning your child. Re. How can I feel, if I'm telling you right now, and you know me well enough to know that, I met Christine, my biological mum, and for how many years of my life, I never even looked at this woman as someone that I'd even want to be associated with me. I hated looking at her, and she didn't even do anything to me. I just didn't like anything about her. Just like when I met my dad at 23, and then I met him and I found out, even though you were schizophrenic, even though Christine was schizophrenic and understanding their situations and understanding that they were both what on drugs, I still didn't know. What just listen, that? just what listen to what I'm trying to say to you. Just because, just you're like just I, waffling because you're not making no you're sense. Not making How's sense, that? but you're not getting it. Just like I didn't give a fuck about them and what they went through, I didn't give a fuck about this. Same way. Just like when I met my dad, like I said, I didn't feel nothing. Just like when I met Christine, I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing for these people. I don't feel fuck all for these people. But after four years, of airing this person, the only thing that made me even think to reach out, which is what I did, was not because of any emotional, sentimental thing, because I don't feel that. I just looked at it like, if it wasn't for my grandmother adopting me and helping me and saving my life and doing it, I'd probably be exactly. a crackhead just like my, my dad would be a crackhead. I might be schizophrenic like both of them too. So the only thing that made me say, I said to myself, let me reach out and make a communication with this, and try and build something, even though I don't like the person, what they've done and let me build a, com a communication. But it's nothing, out of, it's nothing out of love or sentimental reasons. It's because I just thought to myself, I don't want this person to grow up and end up being a fucking crackhead and shot in a pussy for 20 pound, bruv. Like, that's, that's all it is. It don't mean that I give a fuck about it or anything like that. Just like I said, I didn't give a fuck about Christine or my dad. I don't give a fuck about none of these people. So back to your child. So back to that, I then found out from this person and I have, and I went, even when I went to meet this person to do this paternity test because I thought it's still bullshit because how can you say you can have kids and then all of a sudden I just didn't believe it. So I took a paternity test thing and in that moment that person basically slipped up and they, they basically admit they lied again. So by the time they even told me about they found out they're pregnant, they had known already. So by the time they even said to me, da 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 da, da et cetera, et cetera, it would have been too late for them to do it. So in essence, it was never any kind of, I never really had any say in it regardless. Okay, so in, in, like, in terms of in like the situation now, how do you feel about your child who's out there? What do I feel? Like how I do said, you feel about the child that's out there, your child? I don't feel... Do you, never, you, don't, you never think about your child? I don't feel no sentimental, you know, feel nothing. No, no love, love, nothing. No love within the first, towards your child. Within the first year, when, within the first... Within the do you know how you look? You feel... It's not about how I look, because I don't care about how I look to people. No, I'm being what, honest. Don't you, what, like, you're what, mad. You, it's not about being mad, Ree. How do you not care about your own child out there? How do I not give a fuck about my biological mum or my dad? Like I said, the only reason I reached out was because... So, is that a, so your child's a situation that you're never going to go back to, that's it, you'll never I've, reach I out? I have reached out. And that's the point I'm trying to make. After four years, I have. And then what happened after only that? And that's, I've been trying to build a com uh, relationship from that. You've been but trying it's not to build. Out, but it's not out of no sentimental reasons or out of love. I don't feel that. 
It's out of obligation because I know it's something that you have to do, not because I feel nothing, just like it's obligation for me to be, to show respect and show whatever to Christine. Even though I may not have any sentimental or love for her, it's just the fact that I should give that to her because she's my biological mum. Just like I should have some sort of respect for my dad because he is my biological dad. I'm not trying to sound like a dickhead, I'm just being honest. When you ask me stuff about how can you not care, how can you not have any sentimental feelings, it's because I can't tell you why I don't care for Christine. I can't tell you why I don't care for my dad just because they're family. The only people I give a fuck about is my grandma, that's my mum. That's the only person I give a fuck about. Anybody else, I don't feel it. Within the first year when the person sent me a, kid, a picture of their kid, I took the picture and I threw it in the bin because I didn't give a fuck about that. I just thought wow. to myself, this person, is, wow. this person basically lied to me about some shit and now I'm here and now basically I've just created another situation where I've created another statistic. That's why I never wanted up. to have kids. I never wanted to have children. I never wanted to repeat what my grandmother had to go through. My grandmother had to restart her whole life at 50 years old just to raise me. Well, you should have been more responsible then. No, and the and fact you're that right. you had no, 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 and you're right. You should be more responsible, and the fact that you do have a child, that is your right to look after your child. Exactly, and it's that's... not about throwing it in the bin because this no, is not it's what not. you wanted, or because you feel you. I don't know. Exactly. Well, I feel like I was lied to. It doesn't matter whether you feel like you're lied. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. The fact, like, why? I, it's like it's, it's this, like what you decide not screwed. Up what? Because I don't feel sentimental feelings towards people. That's no, not towards people for your own flesh and blood. What? What's you're, flesh and the, blood? The thing, you're, the thing that you're saying, yeah, you're basically blood, saying no. What's flesh and, let what, me ask you something. In our relationship, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, you've made it out to me. You paint this picture as the reason why you don't care about your your biological mom, your biological dad, is because of how they were. For example, you just said now I she she got she got her, she got her kids taken away about, from no, her. No, it's not about how they were. It's that I don't feel that. Okay, feel but you you you've mentioned how she got her kids taken away from her, so she said someone else to have you. I'd understand why you'd be upset about that it's or, why, about, or why you feel a certain type of it's way. It's not about being upset. I only found this out two weeks ago. It's not, I'm not upset about that. I'm not upset. I don't give a fuck about it. I met Christine at nine and I looked at her dead in the face and I looked at my grandma and said, I don't like this it's woman. Because they, it's it's because you didn't know her. She, has, she hasn't been in your life. I've known, Christine for, I've known Christine for my whole life. I've known Christine for my whole life. Your, I just your, never, your I just nan never... looked after you. Yeah. Your nan, took, your, nan also took, your nan also took you away and raised you. Yeah. So, so when you came back to, so to Christine, you didn't care about her yeah. because she has nothing to do with you. Yeah, so when, when you okay, keep on... Okay, so now this child you created, that you created... No, but when you keep on talking about flesh and blood, you keep on making it seem like... Okay, but this is, this is your problem. I, I'm not saying it's not my problem. That's the thing, you keep on trying to make it seem like I'm trying to take... I'm trying to tell you this is four years ago or whatever, and I'm telling you this is on from what's happened now. I'm trying to tell you that it took me all these times to actually understand myself and understand my thought process. So right now you've been trying to have communication? I have been having communication. You have been having yeah. communication. And that's like I said, it's not about love or anything like that. Just like when my grandmother took me, it wasn't, it wasn't about love. Your, your grandmother took you out of love. Yeah, but it was about obligation also. No, she wasn't obliged to. She, she was took obliged. you out of love. It's obliged. She did it because she feels... Because like, your parents were not well. Listen to what I'm trying to say. She did it because she was obliged to. It was half love and half being obliged to. And I know this because she's told me this herself, which is why she always said, before you ever have kids or something, understand that it's not an easy job, which is why I never wanted to have kids. I've been through the most worst poverty with my mum. I've lived in flooded houses with my mum. I'd slept, and when I say my mum, I mean my grandmother. I slept in bed and breakfast with my mum. Slept, slept in houses made out of galvanage in the, Cal in the Caribbean because of my mum. I used to walk through cane fields in Dominica with my mum walking because we couldn't have transport. Even when my mum took me to Dominica, and I was there. I was living in a room with eight kids. I had my first sexual experience at five with someone that was older than me. So like, when you're telling me that it's love, yeah, it is love, but it's also obligation, which is why I've never sold anybody a dream of told him, telling them, I want to have a child with you and we're gonna make it work, which is why as much as I loved you and as much as I wanted to get married to you and as much as I wanted all these things with you, I would never ever do that to you because I would never put you in a position where I know myself and I know I'm not ready and I'm guessing you up saying I want to keep so it. So had I got pregnant, then what would you have done? Hmm? If I fell pregnant, what would you have done? For you? For you, you're the only person I would want to have kids with. Mm -hmm. So it would have been a different thing. But I was never going to let that happen. I was never going to let that happen. Because I knew how I was moving and I never wanted that to be for you. I know how hard it is for a single mum to raise a child because that's been my whole life. And like I said, I'm not knocking the person that's the kids, like the kids' mum, whatever. I'm not knocking it because she's she's done a great job. But at the same time, well, of course, I'm gonna feel away because I feel. You I, know I how hard it was to. for you. You know how hard it was for your nan to raise you. 
But then at the same time, I'll still lie to you. So I'm going to feel a way about that too. I just said, you knew how hard it was for your nan to raise you yeah. by herself. Of course. And that's what you, that's what you just wanted but for somebody else. But I was lied else. to. There's a difference. It's not like I lied and gassed somebody up and said, I want to have kids but with But she you. never lied about, like... Yes, yeah, she did. But how can you, know, you say she... What did she not lie about? What? Not being able to have kids and all of a sudden you can. Telling me, we, we sh I'm well, going to go do this. Miracles happen, man. Huh? That's why I say miracles do happen, Jack. Well, I'm a miracle. But I don't know about nothing else. This is the thing. I know what it's like to be resented and be disliked. When my, when my grandma brought me to Dominica, she left me with the guy that she was with. He would bring me to all his side chicks' houses. Someone who killed dead animals, hold it in front of me, cut their hands, do all that bullshit, leave me with weird people. Like, so it's not a thing about, I know, like I said, I know how hard things are. I know, I know I'm not a person that would ever put somebody in that position. So it's not, it's not a love thing for me. It's obligation because it's the right thing to do. And it took me four years to get to that point because I don't want to resent anybody. I didn't want to resent a kid because of how I feel towards their, parent, their, their mother, which is why it took me. So when you say to me, abandon, it's not abandon. It's about if I get around somebody and I feel how I feel and I am how I am, it's not going to benefit anybody else. You'll get the worst of me. And I don't want to ever do that to somebody else's child. I never want to do that to somebody's kid. I don't want to do that to anybody because it's been done to me. Is there anything else you need to tell me? Mm. Like why you did it today? The reason I've done it today is because it's taken me a like, long... Like, what are you trying to gain from it now? Like, what did you expect me to do from... To like, be from fair, I never felt like I owed anybody anything, because I don't. But I always felt like I owed you. I could say that you're my first love, and I could say that you're the only person, like I said, I ever wanted to marry or have a family with. I'm not saying that, that's not happening now, obviously. But the point I'm trying to make is, I just felt like you deserved the explanation for everything. And like I said, I never wanted to come off like, obviously you've seen me throughout the beginning and you've seen me, you've seen me before social media, now you've seen me after social media. And then I never wanted you to leave with like the taste in your mouth that I was a shitty person. No, you was. Yeah, no, yeah, I was then. The taste always be there. Yeah, of course. But the point I'm trying to make is that just like everything in my life, I'm learning to understand it a bit more and come to grips with it more. So it's not Christine's fault. It's not my biological dad's fault. That's just what happened, yeah? It's my fault for believing someone and not, and, and just listening to someone instead of strapping up. It was my fault. So even though the person lied to me and they lied twice, it's still my fault because I shouldn't have even done that situation. And now I'm left in a situation where if I ever did want to have a child, like I said, I only ever wanted to have a child with you and I know it would have been organic because it would have, you're the only person I felt that for. So I have to deal with this in the sense that I've come from a broken kind of family kind of thing and I've continued that. And although they may not be like loved there in that sense, it's obligation and it's the right thing to do. So what I'm saying is like, just like then, even with the youth situation, like I've had to realise that I can't, Although the person lied to me, I have to be real with myself and say, I, I shouldn't have got myself in that situation. I have to deal with the responsibility. But I'm still not going to lie to myself and say that it's love because it, it still ain't love for my biological parents, even though it ain't their fault. It's not love for nobody because it's hard for me to feel that. I only love my mum, which is Elizabeth. That's the only person I, I have real feelings for. And I know that sounds like I'm being a dick, but I just can't help it. It's just how I am. Like on the, when I did the ZZ Mill show that everybody probably knows me from, like, I guess the next everything, that's one of the things that a lot of people know me from. Mm. She asked me if I had kids and then them times I knew. Yeah? Them times I knew. I know, you lied. Yeah, of you course. You said I, no, you yeah. didn't have kids. Because Stop owning it. It's, no, I didn't own it because of the disdain and anger I felt. And which is why I talk about, it's taken me years to get past that feeling of anger and bitterness towards the whole situation. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't my fault my parents had a one night stand, just like it ain't this youth's fault that I was fucking bad things and this thing thought it was something deeper. And then it is what it is. And I don't give a fuck about that person. It's not the youth's fault. When I look back at me and you, I have all these great thoughts and I have all these great feelings and all these amazing times of you in my head. But then when I really put down to the reality, I was doing, I did a lot of wrong to you. I did so much wrong to you. And as much as I loved you and as strong as my feelings was towards you, I was doing a lot of wrong, which is why I, wanted to talk to you in person and say it because do you know what the problem was? The reason I loved you so much is because I've never seen my mum in someone. And that's what I saw in you. Everything about you 
it just gave me a reflection of her, which is why I felt so strongly towards you. And which is why when I talk about family and kids and all these different things, that's why it comes back to you. I mean, you know I broke up with you, right? Because I just kept having, not only was I having gut feelings about our relationship, or someone messaging me saying they, they, they swear they've seen you somewhere. Mm -hmm. It was just all too much. And towards the end of our relationship, I would say around three months towards the end, I really fell out of love. Yeah. I just don't feel like, I just feel like me being there is wasting my time because I know what you're doing. Like, it's, I feel like I know what you're doing, but you would never change. Yeah. Remember the last time I broke up with you? I, like, my friends saw you on a dating site. No, that wasn't the last time you broke. No, the, you not mean the last the time. The one time. before that. Yeah, the one I before you that. The last yeah, time. you yeah. was on a dating site, and it was you. It was all your deals there, and yeah. I showed it to you. That yeah. was the first time I broke up with you, and so it's, it's just like you know, from that moment, and we've already what two and a half years in our relationship. So it's like the last time I just felt there's no point. It's not going to work out. You're not going to change. So what am I here for? If I was to ask you, oh, if you feel like we should remember, we have we normally have our talks yeah. about being in a relationship, like how we feel. If I was to ask you the same question, you'll say it's perfectly fine. So I didn't give you the opportunity yeah. to have that talk with us, like that that certain conversation. So. And you're right because at the time, I wouldn't have been honest because I had so much on my mind, even that situation, and, and, life and everything. And I, even I after everything you said. It's just that I just find it hard to believe that you saw your mum, like the way you portrayed me, like you've seen your mum and me and, and all that stuff. I just find that hard to believe while she was out doing what you was doing. You wouldn't be doing all that stuff. No, that's I, what you thought. I know, it, I know it's hard for you to get it, but that's how it is for me. Like I said, where we go from here, I don't, obviously, we're never going to get back together like that. Mm -mm. But at the same time, I just never wanted you to leave with that feeling about me, to feel like I was a bad person. Even with what I've told you about, Myself, the you, everything else. I, I have changed from how I was before. And it's taken me a long time to get to that point. So with you, like I said, it's not about me even being a friendship. It's just down to just you, like closing up the chapter. That was me and you. Chapter's closed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Done. Next week on Full Disclosure, Evelyn calls out Lerone as she hopes for him to acknowledge his shortcomings in caring for their disabled daughter and make changes to improve as a father. Our daughter's deaf. She doesn't have hearing and I had to deal with that by myself. No, you didn't. You put the roads above your daughter. Do you think I'm a bad guy? I think you are genuinely the most evil human being I've ever met and, I, and I'm not even lying when I say Don't that. Chat. There were times I used to find you in my house, broken into my house. You wouldn't let me live. So then I had to live a life where I had to lie to you about anyone that I was dating. This ain't fucking Narnia, bro. Like, there's real life shit that goes on in this, like, that, like... Lerone, the problem is you've had too many children. No, I haven't had enough, my guy. Five baby mums, nine children. You I don't use that derogatory term. I went okay, to college when Kaya was that. nine months. I've been in... Who the hell told you to do that shit then? The fuck? You just had a youth, huh? Chill out.